going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys some more Madden 16 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head season content. Guys, today we are currently 8-0 in our season trying to make it 9-0. If we win this game, we get a first round bye in the playoffs. So I'm feeling very, very confident about our chances here to actually make a run in the playoffs if we can get this W. But it is not starting off very well for us. Jameis Winston taking off there for a big gain on first down and look at this. Oh my goodness, dude. You've got to be kidding me right now. He is just destroying us with the run right now. First a quarterback run, a running back run, and then, oh my goodness. He chucks it up into double coverage, nearly gets the catch there. I would have probably been raging. I'm not even going to lie if he, would have got, if he would have actually completed that pass. Now, third and five, and my opponent's going to take the ball right up the middle. Oh, what a hit! Holy shit! Destroyed in midair. Oh my goodness, we forced the fumble. Somehow, he recovered it. I have no words. That was one of the biggest hits that I have seen in this game. I think he jumped while he was getting hit. And then again, on the next play, he is going to fumble again. But Jameis Winston recovers his own fumble. Two plays in a row where my opponent fumbles and recovers it. Unbelievable stuff. And he's continuing to hit us with that run up the middle. First and 10 here, and Winston's going to take off one more time. Spinning directly into contact. Probably should have been another fumble on this drive, but it wasn't. And then my opponent's going to hit us here with the halfback screen. I believe that's Dre Archer for him. Taken off. Almost got into the end zone there, but we did take him down. But unfortunately, two plays later, he is going to get into the end zone here for the touchdown. So, my opponent starts this game off very, very strong. 7 to nothing. We're struggling a little bit on defense. We did force a couple of fumbles, and look at this. Just cannot get that edge on the run. And unfortunately, we take a huge loss there, a five-yard loss. But we're not going to be deterred, man. We're coming right back with another run here. Brings it on now to a third and five. And we've got a receiver, Joe Horn, there. Oh, my goodness. If he could have just broken that tackle, that would have been a huge gain. But at least we get the first down. Back with Dre Archer now on first and ten. And we do pick up about an eight there on first down. So now... We're moving down the field here very efficiently, hitting Travis Kelsey on the play action pass there to the tight end corner route. Very, very simple route, but it gets very open against man coverage or any sort of cover three. So that's what a lot of people like to run, and that pattern works very, very well against both those things. Back to the passing game here on first down, and Joe Horn this time is going to break that tackle just like he tried to do earlier in the drive, and we get into the end zone here. So tie game guys seven to seven looking very very good look at tony romo and joe horn celebrating together feeling good about our opportunity here on offense now it's time to step up on defense we struggled against the run on the first drive and we did force a couple of fumbles but it wasn't enough this time though gotcha bitch michael kendricks the user pick getting us into good field position here we've got the turnover and it's time to hit him here with some play action passes Travis Kelsey catching that one, and we're going back to the run here. First and 10, Dre Archer getting the corner. Oh, the spin move taken down, though, just before we could get to the first down. Second and one, and we've got Christian Okoye in the flats here. And look at him. He's going to break a tackle. One more tackle to break. Oh, he can't quite do it. Taken down from behind there, but he did fall forward at least. First and 10 now, and Dre Archer is going to take it up the middle. I thought he got into the end zone there, but he actually didn't. So second and 10, we're running it up the middle again. Terrell Davis taken down though, but on third and goal, we do get into the end zone. Tony Romo with the QB sneak. So, 14 to 7. There's only a few seconds left in the first half, and my opponent nearly threw a pick six there on first down. That was real, real close to being a pick six. But my opponent still got a few chances here before the end of the half. Second down there, he is going to miss the pass. And then on third and 12 here, he's going to the screen pass. He did score on it earlier, but that was at about the 20 yard line, so he did not get in that time. Now, Coming into the second half, I wasn't paying close attention here. My opponent definitely caught me off guard with this. He went for an onside kick coming out of the half. Unbelievable stuff. I was definitely not expecting that. Thankfully, he was terrible and kicked it right at the ground and it didn't go anywhere. So we've got the ball on offense here in my opponent's side of the field. Already up seven here in this game. Looking to make it more here. And we're going to find Brian Finnerin on a simple drag route there. Pretty close coverage, but it was a pretty safe throw, actually, because, uh, you know, Romo is going to his strong side. It really wasn't that dangerous of a play. And Terrell Davis is going to pick up a couple of yards here on first down, keeping him honest there with the run. Not going to let him totally destroy us if we decide to run the football. We've just got to pick up consistent yardage. Nice little pass there to Joe Horn. And then on first and 10, 
Terrell Davis is going to get into the end zone this time, not to be denied. So we've got a 14 point lead now in this game. Terrell Davis looking good. Dre Archer looking pretty good as well. And our passing game has been very, very effective so far. My opponent is now down 14 after starting the game up seven on that first drive. And my opponent is still going to just try and throw it into coverage, man. He was straight up double covered there. I was a little surprised that uh, that one didn't get intercepted, but at least we'll take the knock away. Now, third and seven after that failed run attempt, and he is going to fall forward trying to run with his quarterback. That's Jameis Winston again. So now fourth and three, and my opponent again going to go for it here on fourth down. This is a real risky proposition here, but he is unable to pick it up. We swarm him in the backfield and we do get the stop so that is gonna force of course as you might imagine the rage quit we do get the w here in this game we're moving on we get the first round by in the playoffs great opportunity for us here guys to prove that we can win the super bowl so first season first playoff chance this is looking very good we have not lost yet hope you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor if you did please hit that like button comment below if you guys are enjoying this these uh head-to-head -head seasons games i'm trying to do a ton of them so let me know if you guys are enjoying it thanks so much for all the support and i'll talk to you guys again soon hey guys if you're enjoying my videos do me a favor click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.